Hey guys, as you know that Nano Banana literally launched and it's very hype right now. All of the internet, everyone is talking about this. So I just tried to just make a project uh, by using Nano Banana inside N10 and this tool or this agent, this project, whatever you say, can convert any product image to a advertisement image for that product. So all you have to do is kind of like open this uh, you know input section like this you only have to just give the product image and you have to choose the model of the character okay so in this case i just go with like choose the model and let me just kind of like go with a very simple model uh, okay so i just go with this thing a iron you can see that and i have to select the model like uh do you want to just go with a male model or female model actually kind of like using this product okay I just go with mail that's all it is and when i just go generate it will just start working i don't need to just give a prompt and kind of like defining what things have to do kind of like this stuff and right now i'll just go with generate and you can see that our agent started working uh, or just our project started working okay so you can see it's kind of like converted to a base 64 string then it actually used a code then after uh, using the code it, uh, let me say the code is actually for converting the base 64 image to a basic to for url then it actually used the most important thing at the most okay it's kind of like uh, done and then it kind of like used the nano banana and then it just generated the image how we wanted kind of like this image model using the iron okay then it kind of like used the edit fields there are some edits in here then getting the image then uh, downloading the image in my device directly like this as you can see that I didn't click anything this thing literally popped up by itself and right now if I just kind of like go with save in my device here's the image I kind of like go with this and here I can see a mobile model kind of like using our you know selected iron so yeah it's kind of like this you can see that the image is very high quality and yeah for this uh, exact product the main model is using the same product in here okay that's really cool i don't need to just kind of like you know i uh, need a main model or just have to hire someone a cameraman kind of like this stuff even you can say that like rocking i can just do this on chat gpt but the thing is like you have to just cost credits but with this uh, you know ai system with this product system i don't need to cost any money it's completely free inside anything okay by the way i had given this template in the description complete for free so after understanding everything what i did i'll uh, just go and just download the template and just use that for yourself okay no more extra let me sh show you like what i really did so the first thing as you can see that i actually used a submission form and yeah if you just kind of like go in the notes section and a note and if you just kind of like search your form and i just kind of like added a and then form you know which is called on form submission and in this place i kind of like given two elements the first element is actually the uh, you know image uploader and the second element is kind of like selecting that which model you want to choose like male model or female model and as i shown you that what is happening in here so yeah kind of like this you can see i have to just give the title and the description kind of like this you can see the field name product Im uh, image and yeah obviously that will be a file type and yeah just kind of like in this case i just kind of define that what the file type will be dot jpg or dot png okay it's not mandatory but i just given that and the field name the second field name which is the character uh, model so in this case i just kind of like uh, go through the drop down list so that the person can select that which model they want to choose male or female model that's it no more extra pain okay and the next thing i used an base 64 string converter and as i said that i have to convert the binary file to a base 64 string and that's really important let me uh, show you why so this is actually the binary field okay so if i kind of like go with view you can see that that's the product image i uploaded so what happening here and kind of define that that's the name of the product and it have to convert it to a base 64 string and that's the string if i kind of like show in the json you can see uh, it's kind of like so many datas in here which actually define this yeah everything is kind of like datas yeah so computer don't have the vision they actually just kind of like go with the datas so that's why we have to just convert that to a data okay now you can see that it kind of like giving us a string in here but the main problem is uh the way we are using the main thing which is called the nano banana uh we have to convert the base string to a base a uh, URL or the you can say base string URL uh, whatever you say it have to be a URL format otherwise we can't give the image 
as like a reference you know the model will say that you know i didn't get the image kind of like this problem you will face so that's why must be we have to convert this to the uh, to a like a proper url okay so that's why I'm in the third uh, node i'm actually using a code a js code normal so what i did is kind of like using this code by the way i didn't write the code by myself what i did kind of like just go in the ask ai and then i said very simple thing convert the base 64 string to a url that's it then i just go with like generate the code and it kind of like did this by itself no more extra pain okay and yeah make sure the mode is like run once for all items and it kind of like converted to a url you can see from data to a url and that's actually a very long url okay so right now we have to give the url and with kind of a uh, prompt and with kind of like edits to our nano banana okay so that's the thing really is guys so uh you can say that like what's really happening in here because obviously that's the most important thing okay so for that i'm actually using uh, as a middleman you can say uh, the open router and you can say why are you actually using open router why not using directly the Gemini and kind of like use that okay. first of all let me show you how I used open router then I will show you that why I didn't use the Google Gemini directly in this case okay so for that I have to just come to open router so for those who don't know what is open router is it's kind of you can say API store platforms and you can get tons of models at a time obviously it's not free but yeah for some models it's free for for right now nano banana is completely free in open router okay so what you have to do you have to just you know kind of like create an account and then you kind of like see these things and if you kind of like go in the model section if i kind of like go in the image sections the first model is literally just killing the open router it's called uh, you know the nano banana or echo uh, google gemini 2.5 flash image preview insane okay so i just kind of like go with this and you can see that how it really works there's a documentation uh, you know under that okay so that's the thing in here you can see there's a code so what i did really is i just kind of like go in the curl section as you can see i just choose curl and i copied that i don't have to just understand anything believe me okay so i have to just came here and then what i did kind of like i just added after the code i just added a stdb note kind of like this okay stdb request whatever you say and then you have to just go with like import curl and you have to paste the curl code that you just copied from open router for the nano banana okay then I just go with like import that's it it's already will be set up you can see the url has been set up the request uh, method has been set up to post authentication kind of like this thing you can see that's how the authentication really looks like okay so uh, what i did i kind of like design going with the manual headers instead i just go with like pretty foreign credential type and in this case i have to just go with open router obviously because i'm actually using open router and make sure just go with like open router okay and then you can see that in this case it's actually say that it's added but in your case maybe it's not added maybe you're your new user of open router so in this case you have to just kind of like go with a new credential so i can just go with uh, just go with create new credential in this place we have to give the api key of the open router for that you have to just scan the open router again and in the place of you know url you can see a key section just go there and just go with create api key give a name that's it you have to just touch the credit limit don't do that okay then just go with create and then uh, a api key will be created make sure you just copy that thing and just put this thing in here and then just go with save that's all it is you have to do okay then what i'm doing in this place i actually have to give a code a json code and by the way i'm not using this json code instead i actually just get a code uh, by using devsec so you can see that's how the code really looks like the model messages role content you can see that and yeah i actually also had given this json code in the description so if you need that just use that for yourself so that you have to just go with like extra headache kind of like this thing and yeah make sure that you actually just change the json code it's mandatory otherwise it will not work okay so yeah what i did in the place of this code okay so in here as i said like i can do two things one i can upload the image and also i can actually choose the model so for that i have to make that customizable for this you know json code so what i did you can see that that's all that's the model which is the nano banana uh, google gemini 2.5 flash image preview free that's the model name uh we actually just known as that nano banana okay so the messages you can see that's how this look like role user content type text and in the text okay we're just giving the prompt of the image so that like we don't have to give a prompt 
from ourselves okay we are only just giving the product image and selecting the character that's it and so the prompt is kind of like this this image is a picture of a product so this is actually the image by the way you can see in the url section okay then also say that like generate a new photorealistic image of a then in this section i'm actually defining that uh, the, the user selected male or female so in the right side you can see i selected male so it's kind of like showing male okay then i said fashion model actively using this exact product in initial setting and the then again defining the model is male as a selected so that's why model should look happy and engaged with the product pay close attention to the product's design colors and details from the reference image okay then i'm just giving the image which is the most important thing as i shown you i'm actually just you know getting the basic string then i'm just converting this to base 64 url then the base 64 url i'm actually giving this in this section you can see that type will be image url and also I just try to just you know kind of like given as image data and instead of just giving the image url i try to just give the image base 64 string directly and it doesn't work in this way so yeah i just kind of like go with the url section again so yeah then i just kind of like giving the image url in the url i'm actually just giving the url that actually getting from the code section okay just this url i just giving this section in here that's it and uh, that's the code actually done in the right section you can see how the things really looks like and when I just kind of like go with the execute step it's kind of like giving me this kind of output if I just kind of like go with show data uh, inside the JSON you can see it says there's the generation ID and bunch of stuff so you can see under the image URL there's a URL and believe me that's actually the complete image and it's, it's so long you can see that but it's not actually the image because we actually need the image in a proper way mainly we need the image in a binary file yeah so that we can actually download the image or uh, use the image as somewhere or like a proper url so that we can upload that at somewhere isn't it so that i have to convert this image to a proper binary file and for that i'm actually using a edit field or you can say set kind of like this thing so when you kind of like go and add note and if you just kind of like uh go here set you can see edit fields I just use that thing okay so in the edit field section i just kind of like define everything yeah you can see that i just choose the manual mapping and in the place of data uh actually just kind of like open four fields to actually set the first thing is the data and the data will be the url complete url which is this one i'm actually getting everything from the nano banana okay so i'm just giving the url in here that's it and the next thing i actually need the base and because I have to convert that a complete binary file so that's what I'm just kind of like uh, uh, you know making all the stuffs individually then the base file okay so the base is will be if I kind of like show you uh, the URL or this complete URL you can see that like there's something like this okay and after the blue thing it's all of the green thing you're seeing in the right side it's actually the base so I have to delete the first blue thing which is data colon image slash png and semicolon base 64 comma i have to delete that so it will be just convert a proper base so that's what i'm doing by using this json code i actually just did the same thing then i'm actually getting the meme type or the image type you can say you can see the image will be image slash png so by using that i'm actually getting that and then the fourth one which is called uh, you know just uh defining the image type it's is it like dot png or dot jpg if you need a high quality image make sure just you actually go with like dot png if you want just a you know low quality image but reduce the size of the image you can just go with like dot jpg but in this case i'm just going with like dot png because i actually need a you know high quality image so that's the thing so when it's happened it's kind of like converting the whole stuff like this you can see that if kind of like go with like show data uh, that's what I'm just doing in this case you can see that okay the edit field is doing this thing and that's the most important thing by the way okay so then i'm actually using this section which is called convert to file and in the convert to file i choose the operation as move base 64 string to a file means to a binary file so that's what i'm doing in this case if i kind of like go in the show data i'm actually giving the base 64 input field obviously the base 64 input field will be this thing i kind of like giving this thing in here because as i shown you that i'm actually deleting the first uh, you know data slash and kind of like these stuff to actually get the base so that's why i can convert that to a binary file so that's what i'm just doing this you can see that that's actually the base and in the place of input i have to keep that and then actually converting this to a proper image
that's it guys and what I did kind of like use a firm ending uh, note you can see so what's happening here in this in the you know on and and from submission I said that like when the form will be completed when the sorry on the AI system will be completed uh, you have to uh, you know give the image like as a return binary file so that you saw that like it's automatically kind of like asking me to download that on my device kind of like this thing so make sure you just go with this return binary file and in, in this case i just kind of like return these things you can see that that's what just uh, kind of like came up image generation completed generated image will be automatically downloaded in your device so yeah that's actually the title first and that's actually the completion messages and make sure the input data field name will be data because you can see that that's actually the name that's why if the name is different so you have to just give the different name which is containing the image in this section okay that's what's happening okay that's really cool isn't it and so let me show you that why actually they didn't use the Google Gemini directly and why I used the middleman open router instead of using Google Gemini okay the main problem in here I guess maybe there are some issues with a uh, country or maybe with credit okay so I actually kind of like figured out the main problem is the credit it's not the country I guess so if I kind of like go with this thing this actually just made that by using Gemini so you can see that like uh, this is the Google AI studio if I kind of like go with get API key and there's kind of a little bit documentation about how you can actually use a model from the Gemini directly because Gemini has tons of AI models and uh, obviously we have to use the preview model which is the nano banana so obviously we have to use the nano banana in the place of you know model section so I just did that the same thing and also there's a documentation if I kind of like show you there's a proper documentation how you can use a nano banana if you kind of like go in the core capabilities of the image generation I'd given the link in the description so that you have to just uh, do anything else so you can see all of the documentation about image generation with Gemini nano banana so uh, you can see that how the Python code really works kind of like this stuff so I just did the same thing in this place so let me show that what's really happening here in the place if I just kind of like give a image I just kind of like go with this image and then if I just kind of like go with submit you can see that it's actually kind of like doing every stuff but in the place of image generation it says the service is receiving too many requests from you you expect it you go to and this check and plan b link kind of like this thing and i what i did i actually kind of like even created a new account i just used a new google account and it's still the same and uh, i just kind of like doing this for tons of times and then i just figured out that this actually a new model so that's why it is not giving that much credit that it's needed to actually create a new image so what I did kind of like we just kind of like go in the uh, studio section kind of like chat section okay so you can see if I just kind of like use the try nano banana so as you can see I selected the nano banana okay so it's saying that this model has limited free quota for testing so that's the main problem and if you want to use an API you have to actually buy the credits so uh, yeah that's actually problem you can't use directly the Gemini and maybe you actually use uh, like watching on YouTube or kind of like stuff people actually using directly uh, the Gemini and maybe they actually kind of like buying credits from Gemini in the place of like users and billing and they actually just buying the credits and then using that so yeah if you want to spend money and using this directly you can actually do that it's up to you no problem but if you want to do that for free I will recommend you to actually use this exact uh, project which I given in the description so yeah use that for yourself and uh, inshallah I will just try to just make more projects with nano banana because nano banana is a super cool AI model and uh, we can actually just use that in multiple things uh, I will inshallah just make tons of projects and upload that on my youtube channel so make sure you uh, stay with this youtube channel if you're new just please subscribe the channel uh, I actually upload this kind of videos especially in the AI AI agents uh, this kind of stuff so no code by coding tools okay so yeah that's it guys have a nice day peace